High School Football Zone coming here this week at TV6. Ben Rosehart and the gang get us started with another episode of The Highlight Zone. Will you go to Zone coming with me? Yeah. So bring your dancing shoes. And settle in. Happy Zone Coming Week, and without further ado, <laughs> we're happy to have St. Ambrose football coach Mike Magistrelli hey, with coach. us tonight. Thank hey. you so much for coming, Coach. Excited to be here. Good luck tomorrow. Obviously, a big home opener for you tomorrow, and uh, looking forward to tonight as well. Hey, Coach, got a question for you. You know, we're talking about homecoming dances and stuff. We hear some coaches have their players do a little ballet or things to, to build up stamina. You got any special moves to share with us? Uh, <laughs> not, not personally, I don't know. No, no ballet for you. <laughs> we're putting them on the spot. No. All hey, right. I've got to put up with news over here in Weatherland, so maybe you should hey. do a dance. <laughs> Gary has some dangerous dance moves. We'll anyway. see what happens with that. Let's yeah. jump right into the zone with Pleasant Valley and Bettendorf. Uh, Big happy game. birthday to Brett oh, Greenwood yeah. fans going green for Greenwood for the second straight year, 12 months after the former Spartan oh, Hawkeye was your living room. We're rooting for him, also rooting for a good game. And how about this from wow. PV early in this one? Ooh. LJ Redmond bursts into the secondary Almost 51 yards the for the touchdown, his second of the opening quarter. PV in front 14-0. Tacking on here, Nick Slavens dashes 21 yards to the zone. And the Spartans horses. are up by 21 early. A lot of horse Bulldogs power. rally. Kyle Cox calls zone number. And then how about that? Right it's up a the new middle. set of downs oh. and a lot more absorbs the hit there. Woo! <laughs> but nicely Major done. The mascot's goes. in a good mood now. PV though gets the ball back, goes for broke. Brady Letney with oh. the picture perfect Look deep ball this. to Slavens who outruns the secondary. 73 yards. Wow. What a game by the Spartans. And how about this final oh, score? Man. Congrats wow. to PV. They win against Bettendorf for the first time in 10 years. I was just going to say, I didn't see Bettendorf score. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it means a lot to be able to come here and do it on their field. but. Uh, you know, we knew we had a good chance to do it, and we came over and did what we thought we could, and it worked out well for us. We're, we're playing real good right now, and just to beat Bettendorf for that, by that much, by that many points, it's, just, it's great. It feels really good. We just got to keep playing, playing like we are right now. And next week we got North Scott, I think, and they're they're a good team, got a good quarterback. So I think if we just play like this, and we can keep rolling. Hi, this is Zone Intern Emily Renwick at the Central North game. We hired Executive Zone producer Brian Stocking to DJ our Zone coming dance. But there's one problem. His vinyl records won't work with the iPod we set up. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> We're slowly getting into the technology age, I guess you could say. Photographer Kevin Cole was very pretty cool there actually. over Brace Free Stand. Don't you say working out. First yeah. play of the game, and buff. Central puts on his dancing shoes as <laughs> Zach Mitch dances Goodness around the end in the north Whoa. line, picks up his blockers, and off Talk to the race. Yard. About an 80-yard touchdown run. He was the top player on top six on six last week. Then Central continued to call Look on this. 119 yards in the corner. Another is on the right his side there. Yeah. Season. The, the Blue Devil horse. defense is also ready to hit the floor as Brennan Westmoreland gets the first backfield All for the sack. Him. Nice play there. And then Central calls on Zach. Lights out Minch again. Oh, there's the ball. Go. Gets Tears off 14 yards. A school record 343 wow. rushing yards tonight. Congrats to the Blue Devils. Yep. They roll 75 we'll to nothing. Oh, jeez. All right, Muscatine taking on Clinton now. Check this baby out. Ooh, for, searching for their first 4 0 start in five years, the Muskies, but the River Kings had other ideas. That's Dustin Caldwell providing another huge profit. 50 yards into the secondary. Then it's Muscatine's John Crow. He's completed 72% of his passes, but Drake Cook there latched onto a 23 yard reception. A little bit later, this is Air Muskies. Yep, there, there they is. go again. Tyler Lloyd pulls it in. The, the deep. Oh, check John out this field. place. Whoa, wow. going. Coming back in. Nicely done there. Yeah, That's right, the highlight zone does rock. Nicely it done, does. guys. Nicely said. Then it's Clinton again here. Nice air ball. No, excuse in me. There. Muskie's there. That's Tyler Lloyd pulling in the touchdown. His seventh touchdown in the last nine quarters. And then Clinton. Oh, those tricky River Ooh, Kings. That. Hello. It works to perfection. Ryan Driscoll <laughs> gets the pigskin. And the oh, how about route. that? Breaks through the Muskie line. Good game. As we check out that score, it's Muscatine in front. And they hang on for the victory, 37-21. This is KWQC producer Brianna Nielsen at the Burlington North Scott game. Meteorologist Eric Maitland has his dance Woo! moves all picked nice. out for the zone coming dance. <laughs> Sorry, nice Eric. Lit. Save the rain dance for another time. No. Give us those fair weather highlights. Oh. 
I'm just glad they found my hat. I lost that last season. <laughs> Boy, that's, that's a keeper. Hey, the Lancers cross the dance floor to Burlington. Nor Scott goes for it on fourth down, and Randy Schmidt dials his own number in two steps to a new set of downs. Nice call. He's liking it between the snacks. The Lancers continue to call the tune when Blake Bleen finds an opening and dashes 15 yards. Another big gain right there. Boy, look, it took 18 guys to get him down. And they're dancing. Nor Scott calls on Bleen, who finds room in the line and takes off on a 23-yard trip to home plate. Nicely done right there, and it's Nor Scott in the victory by 23-30-7. UT and all of them now to open the Western Big Six dance card tonight. Pioneers polka to the lead here. Adam Hugerworth covers the final three yards for the lead. Say that three times fast. All of his special teams deliver. Hokerford yep. does the little two step behind the wall. Hole. Let's pass some Panther defenders and let's say We're we not take this one. 64 yard punt As a return. Blocker. Home little play. touchdown dance marathon. All of them pulling away. John Tracy boogies into your living room. <laughs> 17 yards nice out for going. another touchdown. And it's Allman still undefeated. Wow. They win 48. Big to numbers seven. tonight. Now Galesburg and Maroon have a zone coming night <laughs> over in Moline. <laughs> Third quarter action. Silver Streaks dominating that line of scrimmage. Andrew Barnes sniffs out the run play, not going anywhere. Stops the runner in his tracks. Galesburg still in front 24-7 later in the third. Moline tries to solve Galesburg defense with the handoff inside, but Tyler Parts zooms in to shut the door. Silver Streak still up 24-7 as you go to the fourth. And that's where Moline gets into a groove. Nice pitch by pitch Mark Ashworth. Gets hit, absorbs the hit, but Abe Driscoll advances the ball for the first down, 11 yards down to the five. A couple plays later, Ashcraft, Ashcraft hands the ball to Zach Flowers. Right up the middle. Five, who crosses the goal nice line. Lock Maroons pull within 24-14. Zach Flowers the Maroons line. playing sure tough, but Gansworth hangs there. on for the big win, 24-21. to game. Wow. All right, another one here, Rocky facing Quincy down in Quincy. They're running down the street. Rolling out that red carpet, I <laughs> and believe. And running down the field. I yeah. believe that is she. Amos God. Johnson, I believe. Oh, taken off, Holy not going to catch him. Famous oh, Amos oh, good move. Oh, into the zone. Oh. There's talent. That was a good move. Right, Coach? They're good sports. They don't dance after a touchdown. Unlike in the NFL, sometimes you get a little crazy. Don't want to get that penalty. That's right. After a good forecast. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Rocky <laughs> trying to play tough on D, but Quincy gets back in it with a TD there. As we check out that school board, Rock Island was up by eight in the third, and they hang on to win by eight, 21 Rocky. to 13. This is zone intern Kelly Steiner. It's time to take a break on the zone. When it comes to homecoming dates, do you girls have any advice? Our dates need to be like highlight zone photographers, and they always need to be on time. St. Ambrose football coach Mike Magistrelli is hanging out with us tonight on Zone Coming Week. Coach, where are we going next? Let's go to Fulton where the Steamers were trying to knock off Newman. That's right, Coach. Let's dive right back into Zone Coming Week with the undefeated Newman Comets visiting the Steamers. Hello, Newman. Yo. The Comets begin snowing points on the Hello. board. Yeah. Jake Snow flurries yeah. 42 <laughs> yards to the like barn it. for a two-yard, uh, two-touchdown lead, Ooh, excuse me. Jake. Thomas continues to employ Snow as he plows up the middle. Nice. Nice. Uh -oh. Snow is plowing up the middle. 29 yard run to move those sticks. Still going. Still going. Still going. Oh, oh. still moving. There you go. You got like a horse. Somebody's been in the weight room. Newman yeah. continues to chew large tracks of real estate as Brian oh. Bars gets loose here for 30 more tough. yards. Big run. And Newman pitches the shutout 28 to nothing. Another action. Morrison up by seven in the second half. Hi, uh, zoning for Nick Norris here at the Austin. Riverdale Giovanni game. Some arcades have the game Dance Dance Revolution. But when Gary Matibier lets loose, it's like Dance Dance Revolt. Hey-ho! Hey, I've been shuffling, shuffling past sports <laughs> office all week long with we my just big victory here. Call him Denny Terrio for short. Yeah, where did I get Chiwani going here? We got Boilermakers uh, early on. Ryan Hicks there with that 21 yard. Hey, Benny. Chiwani continues to ground. Dane Ensign gets the call, rolls through the line on route to a 28 yard touchdown the run there. Oh, nice Kiwani. hat. Winds it up. Warm for that. Passing game, David Washburn, 20 yard pitch, catch, yep. touchdown. Look at Daniel that. Warren. Oh, Russell, there there he goes. And congrats to the Boilermakers. They get the big victory by four touchdowns, 48 to 20. All right, Bureau Valley has never lost to the Panthers. A storm is brewing as Tyler Barnes on the keeper, picking his way through the maze of the secondary on a 27 yard touchdown journey. Put the stickers on the suitcase for that one. The Panthers employ a true freshman at quarterback, and Jordan Chandler zooms ahead for 10 yards. Oh, a zoom and zoom and zoom and takes a few guys Slam to get him down, him. too. The storm ends the threat as Ryan Lang steps into the passing lane in the red zone. Oh, Ooh. what a pick. Pick it. 
Well, that defense looking strong in the second half. Deer Valley up by 10, and Hamboy also looks like they're going to be a winner on the road as well. All right, the Hubs turn the wheel to pull onto the Roscoe Eads dance floor. Sterling rallying from a deficit with the defense as Logan Wharf with the scoop and the dash with the pigskin for a 37-yard touchdown. Oh, he's got that. He's got it to See go. ya. So Sterling's on the board 36. now. And the defense continues to show its teeth. Brandon O'Brien hauls the back down here for a tackle for a loss. Looks like it could have been a dangerous play to the outside. Then the Hubs offense quickly rebounds as Angel Barcega splits the dip, oh. deep middle to wide open Marquez Felix on a 47-yard touchdown. All right, tough one tonight for Sterling. They lose at home 47-21. And Dixon also a tough one for them at home as well. Bush takes the handoff. Back by number 10. Let's jump right back into the zone by heading out to Geneseo where the Green Machine had the engine revved up against Sycamore. The Maple Leafs go to the air as Luke Snyder hits an open Grant Burris who crosses midfield on a 19-yard reception. Geneseo on fourth and five goes to the end of the playbook as Snyder with a fake and roll 21 yards Ooh. into the red zone. Ooh, still going. He sees Pater. Oh, nicely done right there. And the Maple Leafs. They run to daylight as Mitchell Miller goes to the final five yards right to the zone. And there it is. There's six right there for you. That was, this was a really good game tonight. It was my first time in Geneseo for a ah. home football game. Oh, it's exciting. They, they do football right three. there. Oh, they yeah. played so well tonight. It was a really played good with game. with a lot of heart. All right, Mary McIntosh, always the queen of the zone. And now she's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> yeah. Our yes. zone coming queen rooting on Monmouth United against Ridgewood. And she had plenty to cheer for as the first drive, Michael Olin hits the ground Look running. At that. Still got those legs churning, breaking a off a huge game. Mary loves it. Then the Spartans begin to warm up the ground game. Oh, protect that ball. Devonay Petrie runs hard for a first down. <laughs> she likes it too. Then she United does. will not be divided as Olin takes the near side pitch. Pulls right past Photog Greg Armstrong. Boy, step in front route of him. Yeah. to the zone. And it's all United. It's a train. They win 49. To nothing. They're having an outstanding season. Mercer County, also another shutout victory for them. They're still undefeated. And AW wins by 20 at home. In other action, Stark County looking sharp again. They scored 42 in the first, and Mid County falls in a squeaker to River Valley. Hi, this is Zone Intern Max Hess at the Rockridge Princeton game. We already have a zone coming queen, but we still need a zone coming king. Isn't it obvious we got a king B in the crowd? Coach, you make the call. Hey. Nice lid. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. The Rock Ridge Rockets have literally been in the zone this year, and they put their undefeated record on the line in Princeton, who crowned Will Harmon as homecoming king. Rock Ridge blasts off the opening kickoff as go. Dalton McManus pulls Ooh, it in, get him. in with the eight, sets up the convoy, and is off to the downs. He rockets down the Princeton two-yard line before the Tigers can catch him and haul him down. On the very next play, Darren Southwell plows in from the two yards for the six-point lead. The Rockets Our face fourth and goal, and the calls to Southwell tallies his second of the night. Rockridge is really putting up Big some play. points this season. They Look have been the numbers, outstanding. 48-7, to seven, they get the victory once more. Scores are huge tonight, Ben. Seriously. Tigers and Titans look to top to West Central. Char okay. first stands on Monmouth Roseville. Hits a winning tune. Martel Hunter shows his strength. Burst out of the pack. Flipped the field on this big run here. Tigers take to the air. Clayton Blustrom lofts it up. Ken Keener Ooh. brings it down for the big first down. Oh, that was way up there for a long time. Yes, Tigers Dang. go back to the well here. Why fake. not? Justin finds Keener in the zone. This one ties the game. But Titans respond pretty quick with authority. Trevon Smith finds tall. daylight. Look at him. Yeah, let's go for Get that 68 yards all the way to the Lucky house. Lucky seven. Touchdown. Good night Good to be six. a Titan. Anawan Weathersfield and Monmouth Rose were both victorious tonight. And Orient in another close one. They fall by two at Macomb. All right, check this one out. Byron at Rock Falls. The high energy zone dancing has been a constant in Rock Falls. First rocket drive, Jacob Mamasa hey. to Alex Leaf. Love the mascot as well. After the first crane? down, it's the Rockets. It's the Rockets. Rockets. Crayola. Mamasa fades back the next with Austin Donahoe, who finds some room, breaks into the green for 29 yards. You'll be dancing on your car out there. Probably <laughs> on their rocket <laughs> crayon. Aim himself at my car. And then it's Mamasa <laughs> with the fade route to Steven Armoska. Who That's gets the foot down? Mimosa tallies his sixth touchdown pass in his last two games. And the ladies are happy. Rock Falls put up the points oh, as well. Oh. But Byron escapes with the victory. Tough one for them to swallow. And Melina <laughs> falls by eight on the road. All right, it's zone coming week in DeWitt. Great minds think alike. 
DeWitt and A.J. Smith cut the Bobcats off at the pass, and he plugs a deflected pass for an interception. And the Sabres come right back. They spin turnovers and touchdowns. Kirby Mitchell hey, covers good. the final 32 yards, builds that lead to 28 for DeWitt. The, the Sabres on. continue to call Mitchell, who finds a gaping hole in the secondary and flies 35 yards to his second TD oh, of the quarter. Little turnover there. Looks like yeah, DeWitt's off to the races, and he's got it. Sabres looking very sharp once again. They led by as many as 35, and that's their winning margin as well. McCokina also gets the victory at Anamosa in dominating fashion. And other scores, Mount Pleasant squeaks by Fort Madison and Northeast Falls at home. All right, Central Lee in Minneapolis, uh, Minneapolis, the <laughs> Minneapolis. The Bulldogs strike up, strike up the home band late in the second quarter. The Bulldogs build on a 35-point lead as Seth Detz pulls down the pass and scampers into the end zone as the lead gushes to six touchdowns. The Bulldogs, Elijah Wolf boots oh, yeah, the point after. The moves. Now the Hawks drive stalls as Forrest Stellard hauls the back down at this line of scrimmage. Defense has the moves too. Wow. Defense, wow. big time in that game. And how about this final score? Minneapolis still undefeated, still cruising. They are looking very very sharp this season. And let's see where we're going now. We're going to Wilton. Zone intern Maria Adolph's here at the West Branch Wilton game. Victor Cruz of the New York Giants celebrates hits touchdowns by doing a salsa dance. And we decided to use the same approach. Mmm, salsa. <laughs> oh yeah. A little West South Branch of the border homecoming action there. Bears gambling on fourth and long. Fine gold is cold Cook to Bo Bauer. And six. Pay dirt. 19 yard touchdown toss. Beavers not the score. Tyler Hensler steps up, finds an open coy. Snyder oh. in the zone. 25 yard touchdown. Beautiful pass and a beautiful Look sky. It. Yeah. Wilton break in front here after the band plays They're on. Playing for you, Gary. Dance. Helter hooks up with <laughs> Snyder for the second touchdown connection Oof. of the night. Big hit. There it, it is. It over the line. Line. Big hits in that one as well. And Wilton pulls this one out. How about that first series win at home? I know West Branch had won a ton in that series in the past. And Durant also victorious 35 to nothing at North Cedar. In other action, Tipton is all over Bellevue, 35 to 7. Knoxville was playing on the road as well. Farmington hangs on for the 14-6 close game there. And Milledgeville trailing late in the fourth, trying to make a comeback. Comanche falls at Beckman. Oh, excuse me, that's still in the second half. They're down by 24. Wides and Muscatine trying to get back in this one against Mid Prairie. Other action, West Liberty all over Columbus. Preston held the 43 points, but they still <laughs> get the victory in dominating Defense. fashion. Look Danville, unfortunately, numbers. tough night for them. And 82. Van Buren falls at Damn, Waco wow. as well. So I think we got through all the scores now. A pretty uh, crazy night, how huh? the adrenaline rush really uh, had you going here, Coach. That was a blast. That ben. was a blast. Ben, I have a question for you. Were there any close games tonight? Look at those scores. <laughs> well, wow. uh, well, I know last Saturday St. Ambrose <laughs> won a very close game, so hopefully uh, good luck tomorrow and might be, I don't know, might be a close game tomorrow, but uh, hopefully obviously you guys are you know, rooting for a victory. You know, how you can get it? We'll see what we can do. All right. Well, thanks so much, Coach. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Which team looked the best? What was your favorite play that maybe should be on top six on six? Tell us on Facebook. Have a great night. Have a safe weekend. The second and ten for the Spartans.